Providing protective equipment for rural health care providers. We'll tell you about a recent donation from Northwestern Energy to do just that coming up. And a virtual race to beat cancer. We show you how one race moved online. Good morning, this is Kella Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. First responders were kept busy last night. Crews with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue and the Sioux Falls Police Department were called to a fire in the 1400 block of North Dakota, North Dakota Avenue around 1020 last night. Our news crew was on scene and got this video. Officials tell us that the fire was small and was out before crews arrived on scene. We've reached out for more information on the fire and will bring updates as they become available. In Rapid City, fire crews were called to the 600 block of Lindbergh Avenue. It happened around 8.30 last night. One person was inside the home when the fire started but made it out safely. Crews arrived to a smoke-filled home and a fire at one end of the home. Firefighters were able to stop the fire from spreading. The cause of the fire is under investigation. We've learned from the South Dakota Department of Public Safety about a deadly weekend crash. It happened Saturday just before 11.30 that morning, just three miles north of Parker. A 25-year-old man who was a driver was pronounced dead at the scene. Three other people were hurt. We've learned from a news release from the Sioux County Sheriff's Office in Orange City, Iowa, that a 58-year-old man was killed. A suspect, 70-year-old Greg Winterfeld of Spirit Lake, has been arrested. The Sheriff's Office arrested him for second-degree murder. The Sioux County Sheriff's Office got word of a reported disturbance Saturday night, shortly after 10 o'clock. Deputies found the 58-year-old man inside a home near Ireton, Iowa. Turning out, it was a cooler week last week, leaving any, que any questioning what this week holds. Let's find out by sending it over to meteorologist Scott Mund. Good morning, Scott. Well, good morning, everybody. We are looking at uh, slowly warming temperatures as we do go through the work week. More on that coming up in just a bit. In the meantime, today, another below average day, 40s and 50s. We'll have that for our afternoon highs as we continue to watch for light rain or snow showers in western South Dakota. In Sioux Falls, we'll have a high temperature near 50, 50 in Aberdeen, 48 in Pier, and 44 in Rapid City. More details on your forecast coming up. Thanks, Scott. We have an update from the South Dakota Department of Health on the spread of COVID-19 through South Dakota. There are now 102 more active cases, 124 more positive cases, 22 more recovered, and no new deaths. That number remains at 34. Tribal leaders are responding to Governor Kristi Noem's warning that they need to take down traffic checkpoints into their reservations or else face legal action. The tribe set up the checkpoints earlier this year in response to the coronavirus pandemic. The Oglala Sioux tribal president posted on Facebook Saturday that Noem threatened the sovereign interests of the Oglala people when she issued an ultimatum to us on May 8, 2020. We've also heard from the chairman of the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. You can read that statement in Capitol News Bureau reporter Bob Mercer's post here on Kelloland.com. Northwestern Energy recently donated $10,000 to Horizon Healthcare. The money is to help make items like personal protective equipment more affordable for the rural health care provider. Tom Glanzer, son of the late state representative Bob Glanzer, works for Northwestern Energy and says helping out these rural health care centers is needed now more than ever. It just made more sense for Northwestern Energy on behalf of my family, on behalf of my father, and on behalf of all the people that work at Northwestern Energy to be involved with Horizon Healthcare on some level. And this included a financial gift to, to ensure that uh, people all over South Dakota can go to an affordable health care provider like Horizon. To find out how the donations are helping with affordable health care in rural areas, send to this story here on Kelloland.com. The Avera Race Against Cancer recently happened, but this year the event looks a lot different. The walking and racing events are virtual, which means participants are free to do them at their leisure. Whatever works best for you. Uh, it kind of allows a little more freedom and a little more creativity for the participant. The money raised goes to the Avera Cancer Institute. You can register by clicking the link in this story on Kelloland.com. Scott? All right, good morning, everybody. I mentioned the below average temperatures will continue for today, so expect those highs in the 40s to near 50 degrees. We'll also have to watch for a chance of rain. I know we started with snow this morning in western, southwestern South Dakota, and that may come back later this evening. Futurecast is trying to show that, what you see here in blue for the higher elevations of the hills and across southwestern South Dakota. Otherwise, a slight chance for light rain later this evening, south central South Dakota, and we'll see if that holds together and moves in the Yankton or Vermilion as we hit the late evening hours. 
Then tonight, with mostly cloudy skies, shouldn't be as cold, but we may have a couple of areas that still fall to the 20s. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy, remaining cool. Everybody has a chance for a very light rain shower. Rainfall amounts. As we go through the work week, approaching an inch, maybe more in parts of western and southwestern South Dakota. Not as high in eastern and southeastern Kettleland, but we still may see a couple of areas around a quarter of an inch. For today, expect a high of 50 in Sioux Falls and Aberdeen, 48 in Pier, and 44 in Rapid City. And you can always check the seven day forecast while you're online. Thanks, Scott, and thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now go have a great day.